Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, man, today's Sunday morning. My wife and I went to a concert last night, so we're both, we're definitely not in our 20s anymore. So, hooping and hollering, drinking beers, rocking out to music, it ain't quite the same. Uh, big news, um, this morning I woke up and had 1,500 subscribers. So, I really appreciate everybody coming along so far. I'm pretty stoked for that. I'm trying to think of something special I can do for 2,000 subs, for 500 away. Um, if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button give me a like and a comment today is going to be a little bit different um, I finally got after Complaining for weeks and weeks on end about my nasty helmet my new helmet came in on Thursday So we're going to be putting the new chin mount on for the GoPro for the helmet uh, Also something that I never ever considered doing I'm putting a Senna on I bought the 50s uh, the other day and I waited for some wires to come in because I want to be able to capture any of the audio coming through the Senna onto the GoPro. Watch some tutorials on how to do that. So we're going to do all that today too and hopefully it works first try. So with that, let's get inside, get this going. All right, first thing we're going to do is get this chin mount on. Um, it's the brand I used on my AGV helmet a few months ago i'm gonna try not to make these installs last too long because i would like to get out and ride with this today on this same video without making it like a 20 minute thing what they do is they make these things with the correct curvature so it fits the helmet just right and uh, once again they nailed it i really like these guys a whole lot let's see if we can get it. i bought this heat gun back uh back when i was doing that last chin mount and uh Activating that glue helps quite a bit. I'm impatient, so I'm gonna make sure that's dried off. I'm just gonna heat back of this up a little bit. Great, it's not 3M tape. Uh, it's not M tape either though, so I guess that's a win. Well, I got it a little bit crooked but I think we're gonna be all right. A little bit crooked. So I wanted to follow that line down from the middle of that to the middle of the bottom and I got it cockeyed just a little bit there. All right, let's start looking at that center. All right, I have never embarked on anything quite like this before. So, oh. just like everything I do, I am not the expert. We figured it out. I'm more excited about this. It's crazy because uh, Thursday, today's Sunday, Thursday, I legitimately said I'm not really interested in having um, Bluetooth ears. You hear my grandson? How can you not? Like, right? Look at that. That's beautiful, man. That is beautiful. You hear my grandson? I'll kick your butt. I kick your butt. So there's the unit. There's a lot of boxes inside of boxes here. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Instructions. This paper that I'm sure is very important. It's in Korean. So I'm missing out on whatever that message is. All right. So what we did with this in a, everything that you need for this to work is inside the box. Uh, in my research, yesterday what I realized was that if I just use what's inside the box the GoPro will not capture any of that audio and I don't really ride with uh, anybody it's not going to be that important for that piece of it but in the event that I did I wanted I wanted to have that available we're going to be using this um, port here and from what I learned as soon as you plug something into that port it disables these speakers so we can't use these speakers. We're gonna to have to use separate ones so I can split the audio. Now what I'm going to use instead of that boom microphone is this little guy here. All the guys that I talk to on a regular basis all use this one and they swear by it. This also feels like it's going to be the least, the least intrusive. It's already got the collar on it. So we'll slap that bad boy in there. Okay, drop in speakers. I'll try to remember to uh, link this stuff in the description. You guys know I'm not very good at that. I'm gonna 
throw a quick blast of heat on these guys. All right, so this one has the short dog ear to plug it in. So I want to make sure that's on the side that um, the scent is going to be on. Something else we're going to do here, now we've got this splitter. This guy is going to go into the scent of these two. One's going to go to the headphones and one's going to go to the GoPro. So that way the audio out is going to both places. And this is the wire that I'm going to use to go to the GoPro. I want this on there pretty snug. Okay, we've got this gaff tape that we used on the last helmet. What I want to do here, uh, I don't want this to put any downward pressure on the gaff tape. So I'm going to make a little loop and then tape that across there. So this is what it looks like on the side here. Again, could be cleaner, but um, I like that I don't have any pressure points anywhere on here. This kit also comes with a bunch of these little Velcro strips. So I'm going to go heat this up real quick and I'm going to stick this inside where I think I want the microphone. Just a little dot. Man, I like that a whole lot. All right, so that's it. I had to move this over a little bit. That's it. That's the new setup. It's amazing all the little things that we do for these helmets, right? All right, hopefully, uh, hopefully we can hear this pretty well. I'm, I'm just going out for a uh, relatively quick ride. I don't think I'm going to have to shout like I did in my AGV because of where the microphone is inside the helmet. I think we're going to be fine. Um, so I can hear myself pretty well. We're going to make a test phone call here in just a minute. Let's adjust that camera. Hey, Cena, volume up. Hey, Siri. Call. Calling mobile. Okay, how do I sound? Fine, I mean, I could hear your motorcycle in the background. Is it loud? I don't know. Am I loud? Like, am I clear? Yeah. Nice. So. Yeah, it's not like loud. Like, I mean, I obviously hear you over the motorcycle. Yeah. Well, stay on for just a minute. Um, I want to get going at a decent speed. Okay, 60 miles an hour. How do I sound? Well, I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure that uh, her voice is going to come through loud and clear on the recording, but inside my head, my helmet, I can I can barely hear it, man. I'm not wearing my backpack, so my shirt's riding up my back. <laughs> I'm sure everybody wants to see the top of my ass crack. So I've never had anything like this before in a helmet. And this is kind of neat because uh, with the mesh turned on, that seems to be the key. With the mesh turned on, it makes this a hot mic and I can hear myself in my speakers. So let's talk about this helmet real quick. I bought this helmet. This is the Bell Qualifier DLX MIPS system or with the MIPS system. Um, I've had my eyeball on this helmet for the last several weeks. There was a video that I made where I went to Cycle Gear and tried different helmets on, and this is the one I kind of settled on. Uh, this helmet is right around, you know, 300 bucks everywhere. So when I was doing my latest Google search for this Bell Qualifier DLX MIP, eh, that's too much. Anyway, this one popped out as the lowest price. It was a hundred dollars cheaper coincidentally it matches uh, the color scheme on the motorcycle so it's like a triple win new helmet is the first win a uh, hundred dollars cheaper than the other colors second win same color as the motorcycle third win it's pretty good as far as getting a, a, a scene that goes i've always said i'm not interested in these things 
and I really wasn't. Uh, but I think I'm gonna like it once I figure out how I'm gonna get my. I don't. I don't know if I like. I don't know if it's the speakers or if it's. I don't know what it is. It's making it not very loud. I'm gonna right as for now. I'm gonna say it's the speakers. It could be position. Could be this, that that it's not in a good place, but. Uh, I like having this convenience. I know once I get the in-helmet audio stuff figured out a little better, I'm going to like it even more. I've got to figure out these speakers, headphones, whatever it is I'm going to do. Otherwise, man, I'm going to call it good. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Worst case scenario, I'm going to use earbuds, which is what a lot of the guys on the videos I've been watching are doing anyway. So I'm good with it, man. I'm totally good with it. All right, so that's gonna wrap this one up uh, for today. Overall, I'm so far really happy with, um, well, with both the helmet and the scene. I think I made that pretty clear. Honestly, the more I rode with the helmet and could feel the speakers inside, I, I really think it has more to do not with the quality of the speaker, but the position. Or the inside of the Bell helmet has pockets for the um, for the speakers, and I, I felt like the speakers were up here, which that's no good. They need to be right here. So if I can't figure out that position better, I am going to go ahead and get earplugs. I prefer the kind that have the little wraparound things for the ears, uh, so that way they don't come loose. Man, I hate when they come loose inside while you're riding. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming along today on this one. Uh, this one actually may not get out on Sunday night. It's the first time I've missed a Sunday since I, I um, reinvigorated my YouTube channel. So until next time, we'll see you later.